In this video, we are going to talk about Lost City Hidden in the Amazon. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. The Amazon is one of the planet's last great wildernesses, but legends have circulated for centuries that lost cities existed deep within the forests. A search for El Dorado, a supposed city of gold, lured many Spanish explorers far off the map, and some of them never returned. As recently as the 20th century, British explorer Percy Fawcett searched for what he believed was the lost city of Z. He vanished into the jungle and added his own unfinished chapter to a tale that began 600 years ago. Now the plot has taken a new twist, as scientists have discovered that ancient cities really did exist in the Amazon. And while urban ruins remain extremely difficult to find in thick, remote forests, a key technology has helped change the game. Perched in a helicopter some 650 feet up, scientists used light-based remote sensing technology, LIDAR, to digitally deforest the canopy and identify the ancient ruins of a vast urban settlement around Llanos de Mogos in the Bolivian Amazon that was abandoned some 600 years ago. So the team conducted airborne LIDAR mapping of six different areas, ranging in size from about 4 square miles to 32 square miles, for a bird's-eye view of what was the heartland of Bolivia's Casared culture between about 500 and 1400 CE from an aircraft. A LIDAR system fires down a grid of infrared beams, hundreds of thousands per second, and when each beam strikes something on the Earth's surface, it bounces back with a measure of distance. This produces an enormous cloud of data points, which can be fed into computer software that creates high-resolution images in which scientists can digitally deforest the Amazon. Among the 26 sites were two large urban centers, Landivar and Kotoka. They were already known to exist, but the new maps detail their archaeological complexity and vast size, 1.2 and 0.5 square miles respectively. Each large center is surrounded by successive rings of moat and rampart fortifications. The sites boast artificial terraces, huge earthen platform buildings and conical pyramids over 70 feet tall. The aerial view with trees stripped away revealed two centers, each anchored by a large network of regional settlements connected by numerous causeways. Those passageways radiate out from the centers like spokes on a wheel, and they stretch for several miles. These connect suburban settlements, ranging from small settlements closer to the centers to more distant and even smaller sites that may have been used as temporary campsites. Similarly, Canals also stretch from the main centers and connect to rivers and Laguna San Jose, which apparently delivered water to Kotoka. Basically, they remolded the landscape in terms of their cosmology, which is mind-blowing, says Chris Fisher, a Colorado State University archaeologist not involved in the study who specializes in Mesoamerica. The only problem is that this architecture was made from mud brick, so while at the time it was as fantastic-looking as anything in the Maya region, the Maya monuments have endured because they had limestone, while these just weren't as durable. Andean cultures, where monumental platforms, mounds and temples are prominent, are geographically far away. But an influx of Andean people or their influence isn't responsible for the creation of these urban areas, says Prummers. The Andes are very well studied, and you won't find any site of this type in the Andes, so we can say it's not something that came from the Andes. It's uniquely Amazonian. What happened to the Kassarab and their settlements remains a mystery, but dating at the sites suggests that their occupation ended around 1400 CE, prior to European arrival in the Amazon. Widespread drought may have been the culprit, Prummers theorizes. At various sites his team has found huge reservoirs for water storage, which isn't something one would immediately expect in an Amazon region known for plentiful rainfall. Though it faced an unknown end, the culture that thrived here adds to the growing evidence that the Amazon isn't actually one of the world's great untouched wilderness areas and wasn't even an unbroken forest until relatively modern times. Difficult as they can be to locate in the forest, earthworks clearly built by humans, designs known as geoglyphs, have been found in several other Amazon locales. In 2018, Scientists using satellite images reported that large areas of Amazon forest in Brazil's Mato Grosso state, once thought to have been sparsely inhabited at best, were dotted with villages and oddly shaped earthwork geoglyphs. Even here, away from large rivers, many hundreds of villages could have housed up to a million people between 1250 
and 1500 CE in an area that represents only about 7% of the Amazon basin. However, if larger urban centers anchored these populated sites, they haven't yet been identified. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.